Hi guys, Tony here from Hardcore Campers. Today we're going to show you how to set up the Bushmaster HKC 4000. First thing you do, find a beautiful spot, beautiful location and get a relatively level site. If you don't have a level site, don't worry about it. We can show you how to sort that out later on. As soon as you pull up, first thing you need to do is apply your handbrake. Nice and tight. Next thing, lower your jockey wheel. Nice and easy with your swing away adjustable jockey wheels. Then disconnect your trailer from your vehicle. Start with your trailer lights, then your chains. I usually cross the chains so that if your hitch or your tow bar ever did give way, you've got a cross pattern that will actually catch the trailer and stop it from dropping down onto the road. Once you've done that, just get them out of the way. So next thing is release the pin from your poly block hitch. So next thing we do is lower all our stabiliser legs and level up your camper trailer. Grab your leg winder, very simple process. Drop your leg, make sure it's locked in. and adjust your trailer so it's nice and level. So as you can see, we've got a fairly uneven site here. So you just adjust all your legs so your camp is nice and level. Next process is to open up your tent, two straps over the top, undo your zipper, take your cover off, and then we're ready to put your tent up. So our tents have got a zip and velcro on them so that they're a better dust seal. So once you've got your cover off, you've got four straps, two at the front, two at the back. There are secondary safety features so that if something did happen to your cover and your first set of straps, you've got another back up there to stop your tent from folding open. Very simple way of actually opening up your tent. You pull your ladder out, lean down on your ladder, and the tent just folds open nice and naturally. So once you've got your tent open to this stage, there's a little awning off this side, one pole, that's pretty much all you have to do to erect the tent. So we'll just slide it in. And just pop your awning straight out of the top. Okay, so now you flip your tent over, you need to adjust your ladder. Very important, you need to get this right. So all your steps are adjustable. So depending on what sort of ground height you've got, you can adjust it to wherever you want. Once you're done and you think you've got it right, you don't want any more than 20 to 30 mil of bounce in the tent. It just puts pressure on your tent. So once that's all nice and locked in, you're good to go. So if you're just gonna have a quick overnight stay, very simple to set up, nice and quick. Your tropical roof up the top, you can just tie it off. So if you don't actually want to put your awning out, there's two bungee cords, you can tie them off, nice and easy, nice and quick. So there's two bars to finish off your tropical roof that go in over your window. Nice and simple to put in. Slide your bar in through the eyelet, bend the bar. and you're ready to go exploring. If you are staying for longer and you want to put up your brand new Darchi 270 Eclipse awning, I'll show you how to do that. To open up your Darchi awning, very simple. Undo your zip. 
flick the cover over the back. Making sure the cover's all the way off. Three straps. And then the awning just concertina is out. So once your back half of your awning's out, you put your front half out. Tighten up your strap. Instant shade. Okay, so next we're gonna put the tropical roof up so that what we have, we've matched the tent to the awning to the tropical roof to the camper. So the tropical roof will come out over the awning, so if it does rain, the rain won't go down in between your tent and your awning. Nice and easy, you've just got bungees. Okay, so we've got D-rings on the outside of our awning. So you just tie off your bungee, so your tropical roof is nice and tight. Your middle one's the only hard one, so we get one of our spare tent ropes, tie it onto the end of your bungee, and we just flick it over. And there you have it, tropical roof finished. You're ready to go camping. Okay, so if the wind does blow up or it looks like it's gonna rain, the Dutchie's got inbuilt legs that are already on the awning when you open it straight up to put your pegs and ropes down. Very simple Velcro. And a twist lock. Now we'll open up the kitchen and all the storage. First box is your Weber storage, nice and easy. Weber comes out, then you transfer it to your kitchen once your kitchen's out. Generator on the other side, it'll fit up to a two KVA generator. Nice big spacious kitchen. Two burner, Dometic stove, and plenty of bench space. So there's also a leg underneath to make your extension bench more stable. So you lift your bench up a little bit, lock in your legs, and that'll give you a nice sturdy platform. Okay, so once you've put your kitchen out, next two steps is to hook up your water and hook up your gas. Very simple, quick release fittings, nice and easy. So your blue hose is for water, now we'll do the gas. So your silver hose with the bayonet fitting is for your gas. You insert it into your bayonet fitting, and then I'll show you how to prime the stove. Take your dust cover off. So now I'll show you how to prime the stove once you've inserted your gas into the bayonet fitting. So all we do is you've got your dial, push it in, turn it to your high flame, then press down, allow your gas to prime up, hit your button, hold the button in for three seconds, release the button, and your fire's started. So now I'll show you the fridge slide and where your fridge goes. So in your fridge compartment, we have all your lights, and power options, rear area lights, so you've got ambient light when you pull up to a campsite in the dark and you can see what you're doing walking around in the dark. You've got a light over your fridge slide and then you've got a fan to keep the temperature down in your fridge box. So your power options for your fridges, an Anderson plug on the back here, because most fridges in the Evercool range now are coming out with Anderson plugs on them. And there's also two SIG points for other models of fridges. And now we'll get into the hub for power box. So in our power box, we've got 200 amp hour AGM batteries, and you've got your water level indicator, your lights so you can see what you're doing if you have to have a look in here to check your breaker switches, all resettable breaker switches in a hardcore camper, a USB dual point so you can charge up your phone or your iPads, and we've got the hardcore lighting solar controller already built in. So you've got your big red isolator switch. Once you turn that off for when you're traveling, 
your whole camp is isolated, all bar the Anderson plug in the fridge slide, so that obviously your fridge stays cool. So up the front here, we've got your water filling point for your 100 litre water tank, and it's got a key that comes with the camper, so you can lock it off and stop those little nasties getting in there. Other features on the trailer, hand pump for when you're finished setting up, packing up, and you just want to wash your hands nice and quick and easy. There's also a shower point on the chassis rail here, so you can either hook up a hose to hose the kids off, get the sand off them, or hook up a hot water on demand shower. Okay guys, so now we're gonna show you how to pack up the tent. Pretty much just a logical reverse order of what you did to set up. First thing we'll do is take the bungees off the tropical roof. Next, your metal bars out of your window. Then bring everything back in. Now we'll pack the awning up. Very simple. Front two bars go in first, then your rear fold in on top of that. Making sure you go under your canvas. Pull your tabs out at the top. And what we usually do is a nice loose roll. Take him up nice and tight after that. Flip your cover over and zip it up. And that's your awning packed up. Now we'll do the tent. So you remove the awning bar from this side and pack it up under the mattress. Remembering why you do it, don't force it. Lift up your tent with your ladder. Goes over nice and easy. And that's that process done. Thanks very much for purchasing from Hardcore Campers. And all you have to do now is get out there and enjoy your holidays.